Hello, right. everybody. So I have a really special video that we're doing today with Natalie from Red X. So first and foremost, I just want to say thank you, Natalie, for joining me. And a lot of you, you're not in the real estate industry yet. So you're probably thinking, what the heck is a Red X? So I, first and foremost, I just want to get started there. But also, I want to tell you, if you do find out what a Red X is after you watch this video and you like it, you'll like the product, you'll like what it has to offer you as a new agent going into the industry. Um, links are down below for some extra goodies. We're going to be posting maybe some scripts in there, some really fun stuff for you to really dig your teeth into and make this useful for you as you grow your real estate career. And also a link to sign up. So head on down below in the description box. We'll have that. And also too, if you do have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I'm more than happy to answer any questions that might come up because I am going to be doing more things with Red X. So you're going to see Red X on here. You're going to see Natalie and a lot of other folks from here. So Natalie, take it away. Tell me what is Red X? What should my folks know about this? Yeah. So what is Red X? Um, well, uh, we are an all-in-one real estate data, uh, well, real estate lead data and prospecting platform that helps agents fuel their pipeline with qualified buyers and sellers. So you can subscribe to different lead types such as the expireds, the geo leads, the FISBOs, FURBOs, and pre-foreclosures, um, along with tools such as the dialer, which you can use um, either the single line dialer or the multi-line dialer. Sounds like a lot. And I'm sure that a lot of my students just now probably said, what is a Furbo and what is a Fizbo? <laughs> so <laughs> let me just let, and, and let me just say this. Um, I'm going to chime in. So we do we're going to start using a lot of real estate slang when it comes to getting into the business. So if, if you're an agent that's already started, you probably know if Fizbo is a first sale by owner, it's just abbreviated and a Furbo is for rent by owner. So Red X is a tool that's going to help you get in touch with these people and start conversations, start building relationships. So uh, Natalie, I think that that's great knowing what Red X is, but why would why would a new agent want to use this? Why would they want to get in touch with these? What What is the you know benefit for them? Yeah, great question. So when you say that, it makes me think of, of two more specific questions. The first being, you know, well, why a lead generating service at all? Um, and here's your answer is a lot of agents, especially new ones, struggle to find clients after they burn through their sphere of influence. It's hard to build momentum for consistent business. Um, but with Red X, it's easier to find clients. It helps new agents kickstart their business compared to you know, traditional new agent strategies. Um, and actually a fun fact that I, I, I love sharing is love agents, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, agents who use Red X close four times more than the average agent. That Listen, I'm going to tell you this. I know I love Red X and that's why I've partnered with Red X to really offer, you know, all of my agents some great information and show you what a valuable tool it is. Um, but yeah, one of the biggest things that agents ask always, always, always. And what I want you to do is if you're watching this, comment down below. Are leads an important thing for you? Because listen, I know the answer already. The answer is yes. Leads are going to be super important to the viability of your business and reducing that failure rate. Because so many agents jump out of the gate and they're relying on leads from their broker. They're relying on leads from other sources such as Sphere. As Natalie pointed out, when you burn through your Sphere, what's going to happen? You need to sustain business and grow a business that's going to be able to put food on the table and that you're going to thrive in. So. Yeah, I mean, all of that is really good stuff. But some of my agents, you know, again, they're studying for the exam. They haven't even seen a die or they haven't even seen anything like this is all brand new to them. So, Natalie, uh, why don't you show us around? Tell us, kind of give us a little bit of an insight. As to someone signs up with Red X, what does it look like? How do they interface with this and how do they leverage it to start being one of those agents that's going to close four times more than the average agent? Yeah, definitely. Well, then let me go ahead and present my screen real fast for you. Great. And everyone who's watching, what I'm going to tell you is this. I'm going to be in your seat. So if there's something on here that I see that I think is really interesting or that I think you guys might have a question on, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to ask Natalie that. So Natalie, go ahead. 
Hey, awesome. Well, so this is the, the Red X platform. Um, so with this, you're going to see once you first sign in, this is your overall lead stack. Um, on the left hand side, you're going to see all of the subscriptions that you you're subscribed to. So all of the different lead types. So we've got the expireds, the, the geo leads. Let's show you those. Um, and then we've also got the Fizbo's, Furbo, Foreclosure, and then you can even import your own leads as well. Um, That's awesome. So let me let me just ask you this because I know the answer to it, but I want to make sure that we answer this for for anyone who's watching. Uh, I'm sure that so we just went over what the Furbo and Fizbo's were. You know, those are our first sale by owners for rent by owners, um, expires and geo leads. What are those? Like I said, we're we're talking to agents who have not even started in the business. So why why don't you tell them a little bit about what those are? Yeah. So expired listings are leads that have gone. So they're they're they've been listed on the market with an agent and that contract expired. So then on the MLS, they show as an expired listing. Um, and so they're they're fair game. Um, and so that's a great opportunity for for agents to jump in and try and grab that lead um, and, and have them sign the contract with you. Um, and so that's how the expireds work is, is we pull that information from the M your MLS and put it on to the Vortex and we pull the contact information for them. I, I think that's so key because a lot of times, you know, if you were going at this without Red X, and I'm going to tell you this, I started my business in 2003. So we didn't have a vast amount of tools, the internet, all this kind of stuff. We were still working off of, you know, good old paper MLS. And what I'll tell you is this, if we had to do legwork. Like if we wanted to get the contact information for one expired, we had to go ahead and do the legwork and scrub that lead and try to figure out what their contact information is, or actually just good old get in the car, drive there, knock on the door. And one reason why you all want to start uh, prospecting expireds is because expireds have already made the commitment that they're willing to pay a real estate agent a commission. So these are people who understand the value of a real estate agent, but they just weren't successful with that first agent. For There's a myriad of different reasons. And basically, if you stick with me, I'm going to show you some of those reasons that might come up and how you could capitalize on that and potentially get that home sold. So Natalie, I'll let you take it away again. Awesome. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, so then this is where you would see the expires if we have this clicked here. And then you asked what the geo leads were as well. And yeah. the geo leads are an awesome resource. Um, if you, you know, maybe you just listed or just sold a property um, and you want to target um, and, and call around in that neighborhood and see if anybody else in the neighborhood wants to, to, to sell their home as well. You can then give some information about the, the home that you just sold. Like, hey, this home in your area just sold for this much. Um, and, and kind of maybe make it more enticing for them to sell um, and yeah, then also build on sell. that relationship. You know, and here's the thing, because we're, we're in a relationship business. And one thing that I will tell you that I find happens often is if people are in an area and they see a home come up on the market, there's probably someone who has come over their house, you know, for the holidays or, you know, has visited and they said, oh, man, we would love to live in your area. So something I always love doing whenever I'm calling geo leads is I always love to say, Hey, if there's anyone that you know that is interested in moving to the area, you know, uh, let me know because I'd be more than happy to try to help them out. So that's when they say, oh, you know, my cousin Bobby. And here's the thing. Even if your listing that you're calling about on those geo leads doesn't work, there might be something else that you could work with them on. So that's a great resource. I love geo leads. One of my favorites whenever I'm calling into an area. So Natalie, go ahead. Awesome. Then I'm just going to quick show you how to use the geo leads fe the feature. Um, it's, you're going to see in the top right hand corner um, this little geo leads button. You would click on that, and then a, a map immediately pulls up. You can type in um, anything within an address. So you can type in a full address, so um, or a, a city, a state, a zip code, even just a street. Um, and then you can press enter, and it's going to place a pin on the map. Um, I'm going to zoom in so you can see this a little bit better. Okay. Awesome. Um, you can see I've got past searches here, but let's go ahead and search in a new area. Um, and then from there, I can go ahead and choose the amount of time that the home has been owned. I can choose the number of phone numbers. I usually recommend choosing three. Then you can search in the neighborhood. You can search by boundary, street, or even just one property. Um, you can Then you can see it says nearest 50. This is the number of leads that you're going to want to target or pull um, within this search. So um, let's go ahead and I'll just show you boundary real fast. That's always a fun one. So I'm just going to click on the map 
and it just creates this boundary. And then from there, I can go ahead and press preview and it's gonna show me the number of leads that it's going to pull. Um, so up here in the top right, you can see it says found 51 properties. I'm gonna end up changing this though. I'm gonna choose 500 because I wanna see how many I can get within this boundary. Nice. So it looks like I can get 165 within this little boundary right here. Um, and then if I wanted those, I could go ahead and press get leads. Um, it's gonna subtract that number from, from my overall count, how many leads I can pull per month. Um, with the basic Geo Leads, you get 2,500 credits per month. And then with the, the Geo Leads Plus, you get 7,500 credits per month, um, plus any, any potential emails for the property and then um, additional insights. So, um, and then you can see here, those are loading and there we've got our leads. So it's super easy and fast. That's amazing. So, I mean, something that really impressed me was how quickly you could go from, I have an idea, I have a thought of an area I want to target, draw a map, boom, 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 you click it. And now you have the contact information for all these leads in that area. And you yeah. can just start dialing right there. And that's what I love about a product like this is that the speed from idea, thought to implementation, boom, it, it's so quick. So thank you so much for that. I really love the geo leads. Yeah. And I love that you talked about time because time is valuable for our agents. Right. Um, and so being able to do this quickly and fast changes the game. Um, and that's especially with the dialer. Um, so if it's okay with you, I'll, I'll quick show you kind of what the dialer does too. Of Cause that's of course, of course, because I'm sure that, you know, and also too, let me just play devil's advocate for my audience. And could you explain to my audience what a dialer is? Because I think that some of them are saying, I really don't understand what this is and kind of tell them how they would use it. And, you know, basically what the benefit of it is, because I, I think that's really something that we want, I want to make sure is really clear to you, because, again, I do know my audience has a very rudimentary knowledge of this. So that's why I want to give them all the basics and I don't want to glaze over anything. So go ahead, Natalie. Yeah. Well, with that, let's talk about the pains of prospecting to start. Um, you know, the most efficient way to initially prospect is by phone, right? Um, but unfortunately, calling can be extremely te tedious and time consuming. Um, so like, for example, typing each number, manually leaving, manually leaving the same voicemail a thousand times. Yeah, um, maybe even with your phone. Yes. Right? It, you know, and then people are texting you or there's distractions. You yes. know, I, I I mean, I'm a victim of that. I'm someone that the phone's here. I'm always constantly grabbing, doing different things. And also, too, I find that when I'm on the phone, I feel like it's a distraction, too. I feel like when I'm in a dialer, I actually feel that there are less distractions and it gets me to my work quicker. Yeah, because you're you're on a on the platform on the desktop. Um, you're not on your phone where where you can be getting texts like you talked about. Um, and so yeah, it definitely helps to to keep things focused. Um, you have to be on your A game because it's moving so fast through those calls. Um, you have to be ready with your scripts. There really isn't time for anything else because people are regularly picking up because of how many phone calls you're getting through. Um, so yeah, it's super awesome that way. Super, super big benefits. And like I said, just if we could simply just go over what a dialer is, I think I want to make sure that I don't glaze over that because I know we've spoken about the benefits, but yeah. I want to talk about what that is because we talked about the benefits of it over a phone. So some of my agents might still be thinking like, so what is this? Is this a phone in the, like, how do, how am I going to actually talk to these people? Definitely. Well, let me go ahead and show you. Um, so Perfect. with the dialer, you would just click dial and it's going to load your list of leads. Um, and so then that way you don't have to manually type in every single phone number. It, it skips that process. So then you don't lose track of how many uh, or, or which phone numbers you just called or anything like that. Um, and yeah, it's a lot easier that way. So then what we can do is we can go ahead and, and make our selections. I'm going to kind of breeze through this part. It's um, yeah. So then what you would do is you'd press low dialer. Once you make your selections, you come in here, you can press start and immediately you're going to start seeing the lead details come up. So this is the details of the lead that you're, you're about to call. Um, from here, I could press dial. I don't have to type in a number. It just starts calling. I can also pre-record voice messages. So I've got my voicemails here. I can pre-record these. Um, so that way, when I'm making my calls, I can just press drop VM and I don't even have to listen to the, the person's voice recording. Yeah, and you know what else is great about that is that 
I know a lot of people like, here's the thing. I know that I'm awesome off the cuff and that I could just breeze through all this stuff. And, and here's the thing. Years of being able to make cold calls. I could breeze through a voicemail really easily, but someone who's new on the phones, you might, when you hit that voicemail, you might be hesitant. You might be like, Oh my God, should I leave a voicemail? Should I leave a voicemail? Or, and then you'll be like, Oh, it's not going to sound great. Or then all of a sudden the dogs start barking, something happens, kids start screaming, you know, balls going on in the background. And the voicemail doesn't come out as great as it should. So doing this and actually being able to just drop a voicemail in is going to be great because you can have a pre-recorded, crisp, super professional sounding voicemail that hits all the marks. Yeah. I love that. It's amazing. And you can have multiple voicemails. So you can have one specifically for your expireds and then another one for, you know, your, your for sale by owners. And then that way they're very individual, like individualized to to the, the lead type that you're prospecting. That's awesome. That's awesome. So dialers are great because these give you basically a resource to be able to make calls right from your desktop. And what else I love is something that Natalie pointed out. Your, your contact information, <coughs> excuse me, is right up there. All the information that you need is right at your fingertips. So a lot of people, I mean, I'll go back to me starting out in the business. I had to write these down manually and fumble through papers. But you're talking about as you're calling the contact, their information is right there. The address is there. All the information that you need. Exactly. And if you have the plus products, so say you have the, the GeoLeads Plus, I would also get data and market insights, which are super helpful. So especially for a new agent. So you've got the market details right there, right in front of you within the lead details, specific to the individual's um, zip code. So, I mean, this is really something that's absolutely cool because, I mean, you're talking about agents that are going to be using this product that are brand new to real estate. So can you just tell me a couple of things that that particular product does that this Market Insights does that they could be able to speak with a prospect about? Because I do think this is a really cool product and this is going to help a lot of you overcoming the one of the key objections that a lot of my agents have, which is, I really don't know much about the area yet, or I don't know enough to feel confident in sounding professional to a client on the phone. So Natalie, why don't you tell me a little bit about this? Yeah. So it's awesome because it gives you an idea of what other homes are selling for in the area. So the, the, this is the average um, based on the date. Um, and then also, you know, there's the price range. Um, you can change this to, you know, average days on market. So you can see how much time uh, a home is, is spending on the market, um, et cetera. So a, a lot of different options here, like what's the average square footage um, or price per or square footage, um, things like that. If the property was relisted, uh, inventory. So um, it's it's really cool. And you see the overall real-time market profile right here, right in front of you. We help you sound like an absolute professional without knowing all of this beautiful data. We pull it for you. So this is, this is beautiful. I love this, you know? Um, and you also said that they get property, the, the property details, one to, one to the left. Yeah. So this is the data insights, which is really cool um, because you can see the, the, the condition of the home, some insights on it, further details that may not be included with like um, just the overall tax info or anything like that. And then you can also get the financial insights and lifestyle insights. Let me see if I can find one with those. Um, sometimes with the GLEs, they're not as, as common to see that. Um, but on the expireds, you get a lot of information on the financial circumstance of the home. Um, and also the lifestyle insights, the lifestyle insights, we kind of are like, they're a little creepy, but they're an amazing tool because so, so let me, let me ask you this. And I don't want to cut you off, but I, I do want to talk about that a little bit because the fine, when you were talking financial insights and we're talking about lifestyle insights, like what information are these agents going to have at their fingertips that, as you said, kind of creepy, but could also kind of keep the client on the phone and also kind of get you in the door because you might have a little bit more knowledge about something or their circumstances that they might be apprehensive about talking about. So why don't you talk to me a little bit about that? Yeah. So with the financial insights, it can give you the, the estimated 
um, mortgage of the home. So what's remaining, what, what they still owe on the property, and then also what they're going to potentially make from the property if they were to sell right now, which is a, a great tool. So that way you can say, Hey, like looking, looking at your home. Um, my, my guess is, is it's, it's going to end up selling for about this much. Um, and then they're a little more intrigued. And, and, and then with the lifestyle insights, um, it's a great way to to kind of slip something into the conversation where it may say like they they enjoy cooking. Um, and so maybe you can slip it into the conversation um, or even traveling. Traveling is actually a really great one because you can say um, you can ask them like, hey, you know, are you are you interested in traveling or, or do you want to to move out of state? Um, are you interested in a big kitchen? Do you like to cook? Um, I can I can find you a home that that fits your your interests, uh, things like that. That's, that's awesome. Especially, and I'll tell you something that I love. Um, if, if yeah, I saw traveling come up, I'm a big, I'm someone who loves traveling. So something that I would say 100% of the time is I would say to, uh, people, uh, you know what? I think that it might make sense for us to actually meet sometime next week where we could talk about this more in, um, in more depth. And, but you know what? Next Friday, I'm actually going to be taking a trip out to and think about the last trip that you took, you know, say, hey, I'm actually going to be taking a trip out to South Carolina. And that might get them talking, be like, oh, you're going to South Carolina. I love South Carolina. And that's just a way to build rapport with that client and potentially get you to a point where you can get a little extra edge. So I love that. I love that. Yeah. It's it's an awesome feature. It's a great way to get your your foot in the door and, and make a connection. Um, and so building connections with your contacts is a great way to to you know entice them to be added to your pipeline to stay in touch. And I know that you know you said that on an expired, it's going to probably show some more of that interesting ooey gooey data. So is there any way you could possibly show us like what an expired, like what are some of those things that we're gonna get on the expired? So we'll love the geo leads. But I want to kind of dive into that a little bit too. Definitely. Let me go ahead and pull that up. And while she is, what I'm going to tell you is this. If you're if you're still with us on this, again, remember, type a comment down below because we're going to be doing more things with Red X. I'm going to be here with Natalie and the rest of the team over at Red X giving you more insights as to how to get your business started. So feel free to comment below. I'll be more than happy to respond, answer any questions that you might have. And I know the Red X team is also going to be jumping onto the channel. They'll be answering the questions too. So as you see them coming in, feel free to do that. Also, links down below again to sign up for Red X and get some of our scripts and everything that we're going to have down below. So like I said, go into the description box. We'll have a bunch of things there, but it looks like Natalie has something pulled up. So I'll let her take it away. Perfect. Yeah. So then you can see here um, more details on these financial insights. So we've got the potential household income. Um, we've got the estimated mortgage debt, the estimated equity, the wealth score, um, all of these other uh, amazing features. So, and you know, are they, are they married? Are, um, wow. How long have they lived here at this residence? Um, Creepy, but good. Right? It, it, <laughs> what it is is this. Um, you know, you don't want to come out point blank and be like, ah, I see that you're married and your household income is this. <laughs> but what happens is, you know, it lends you to maybe gear your conversation in a certain direction, you know, so that you could continue to have the conversation. Because again, as a new agent, you don't have the experience there. So all these tools, all these resources are just going to help you continue and further the conversation. You know, so Natalie, I know we went over the expires a little bit. We went over the geo leads. Um, and I know the people have been with us. We, we've already been here for like 24 minutes or so. Uh, what I want to do is this. I want to ask you, is there anything else, any other, I mean, I feel like everything is a wow feature, but is there anything that they should know before they sit there and just, you know, if they've hung around with us this long, is there any other like wow features that we could show them like one last thing? So I would say would be our, our, our social media products. Um, we, we recently launched uh, our ad builder and brand builder products. They, I, I am really, really excited about these. Reason being is we, we know that using social media to get your name out there, build your brand and publish ads. It's a great way to market and grow your business. Um, and so that is actually why we are the only lead prospecting platform that incorporates tools to help you prospect over social media. 
what say that again the only yes that's it i mean here's the thing i'm going to tell you this i'm a big social media person believe it or not <laughs> and i understand the power of social media this is again one of the reasons why there and here's the thing there are other products out there you know and i will tell you this i am not recommending any of the other products because overall i think that red x really is leaps and bounds um ahead of a lot of the other services so that's why when i had a choice to make that's the choice i made so go ahead natalie tell me about this brand builder yeah so brand builder is our done with you social media content creation platform it's designed to help you convert more leads from your database through facebook instagram and TikTok. um and so it's it's a really powerful tool and it's all within the same platform so as you can see here um, I've got my leads. I've got Sphere, which is another amazing free resource that we provide for our agents if they're subscribed to our service. Um, but then we've also got Ad Builder and Brand Builder. Um, mine aren't set up, so I am, I'm not able to to show you much. But um, just why don't you tell us? Why, why don't you let me let me ask this? Um, you know, is there anything that a new agent should ask or know about Red X? Because I know you have an amazing customer service team and I'm also going to link customer service down below. And also if you call customer service, um, tell them that I sent you, tell them that you saw our videos over on, uh, YouTube, uh, mention my name, you know, cause I know that we have, uh, I believe we're doing wave setup fees for anyone with my group. Um, and so that's why I want you to take advantage of whatever we have available to you. Um, and, I think the customer service is just absolutely fantastic. I mean, Natalie, it was great taking the time out to uh, speak with us today. So again, everyone, what I want to tell you is this. Um, I think I'm going to wrap it up. Natalie, do you have anything else you want to say? Um, I guess just that, uh, you know, this is our, our 20th anniversary. Um, so we were, we were the first of our kind in the industry. Uh, so we like to think that we, we know what we're doing. Uh, we're, we're pretty qualified and, and we know how to direct you in the path of success. Um, and so we're excited to, to work with any new agents who, who want to jump on board. Um, and we're excited to help out. Yeah. Call customer service. Click the link below, sign up, and of course, leave any comments if you have any questions. Natalie, thank you so much for joining us, and I look forward to more. Have Love a great it. one, everybody.